Hey everyone! Hey, what's up everyone? I brought my boyfriend! <laughs> <laughs> so in this video, we're actually going to duel each other with mystery boxes. And it's going to be a bit different because I have um, four Chrono Toys mystery boxes. So for mine, it's $10.99 per box. It was part of their limited time event Chrono Toys April Classics Challenger Series mystery box. And the different prizes that they had for their top prizes was a Disney Dumbo Metallic from SDCC, a Disney Donald Duck that's vaulted, Disney Tigger that's vaulted, Disney Goofy that was vaulted, Disney Rex was vaulted, and Disney Ham that is vaulted. As well as um, there's 100 chases and exclusives and 600 assorted new releases, hashtag good luck. So I think there was about 700 or so boxes, so my chances of getting a grill is fairly low. Um, but it was really convincing because there are a lot of Disney Funko Pops that would definitely fit our collection. And then he'll explain his box. And my box, I decided to go with Amazon. It's a $40 box with uh, six Pops. And two of them are guaranteed to be ex exclusives. So we'll see and hopefully I win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, in the end, you can comment down below um, which boxes were better um i know it's kind of weird but at least we spent about 40 dollars each for our mystery boxes in a sense so um i guess i'm going to have him open um two first and then we'll start going um one after the other so it evens out um yeah so that's what we're gonna do so here is thank you knife knife Oh, and um, I'll also be looking up prices and calculating for Boulevard boxes to see who got a better value, but I'm assuming his will be more valued than mine, per se, because he has six um, pops for $40, and I have four pops that were $10.99 each, or $11 each. And we start off with another box. I'm going to move over a little bit. Let's see, let's see, let's see. He's excited. <laughs> so his box actually arrived um, before mine. He was actually going to buy a bunch of Disney boxes as well, but by the time his phone actually allowed him to go onto the website and he was about to check out, it kind of froze on him. And then when he went back to check on his phone, it ended up selling out. So that's why we're doing um, this kind of challenge. And I kind of looked at <laughs> his box because they have the faces up and then there's one pop that's upside down. So, I don't, um, I don't feel one. So, this is the one that's upside down. So, I don't know if that indicates that is an exclusive of sorts, but should... okay. Well, he's going to pick up two pops to show us. Okay. And he's going to go very slowly so I can catch up and look at prices while he pulls them out. So here's the first one, and one, two, three. Ah! <laughs> I actually oh, wanted that's that one. Cool. That's oh no! Awesome. I think he probably pulled out one of the two that are exclusive, exclusive. vaulted, or a chase. Yeah. So this is the anger um, exclusive chase from Entertainment Earth. So you can show them the back, the side. There's the side. While I look for uh, the price. Layer. I know. It's back. In the side. So he is going for $9 right now. $9. Not bad. Not bad. So it's going to definitely fit with um, my Inside Out collection that I have recently started. I think I have... Oh, okay. I have Joy. And I also have fear. So now we have anger. I just need envy and sadness. And sadness is my favorite. We're getting there. So, and on to the next one. One, two, and three. Oh. Captain Phasma? Phas Phasma? Yeah. Ugh. We're not really <laughs> big fans of Star Wars. So Phantom. But um my best friend's brother, he actually loves Captain Phasm. Oh, he does? And um, he actually dressed up as him when he um, did one of his runs, when they still had Disney runs or 
at Disney marathons or half marathons um, here in the US. I know they canceled them and now they're um, doing it mostly in Florida, but he still goes to Florida. So maybe we might give it to him, but um, let me just, I spelled, I, I definitely spelled that wrong. I forgot the A at the end, even though I was, I was pronouncing Phasm. Um, so he is going for $5 right now. Cool. So um, I'm going to open my box. And then now we're going to start taking turns. Yes. So again, mm -hmm. comment down below um, who um, had the better pools. Or you can actually go per round, even though it's kind of odd because I have four and he has um, six. So mine actually comes in another box and I'm gonna try not looking so wait what is this oh no is this not a chrono toys box what what was it what box is this is this a chalice collectibles box oh no is there six in here? Yeah. Oh no. Okay. So, so we actually have six and six. So this is a Chalice Collectibles box. Oh no. How confusing. So for this Chalice Collectibles box, wow, this is awkward. Um, it actually was $50 and it actually comes with six pops. And then you have a chance of getting an exclusive, um, vaulted or chase. And then, oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Well, I guess it evens out, but I paid an extra ten dollars, and um, he he paid forty for his box. Awkward. Okay, let me see if I can pull up the information on uh, what was exactly in mine. But there was a reason why I had invested in this Chalice collectible box. Um, let me find info. Sorry, guys. One second. Ah, go, go, so go. embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Terrible. And I'm not going to edit it out because that's just how I am. Well, awkward. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry, guys. That was a definite fail. Oh, gosh. How embarrassing. <laughs> At least we're even. I pops. know. Now, now. <laughs> Okay, now that explains why my box is heavy. So, um, for this one, it, yeah, it was a $50 mystery box. And um, your chances of getting um, Sonny the Cuckoo, Elvira that's signed, Yummy Mummy, Michael Jordan, Maleficent, which I would have loved. But considering the box, um, I definitely did not get her. Um, there's also, there's a, yeah, yeah, there's two different Michael Jordan versions. There is the Finn Du Chomp which is the ECC, C, e -C 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 <laughs> version. Um, and then that is, yeah, pretty much it. So awkward. So I guess I'm going to be pulling out two. So I have two that are in a pop protector, so I'm not going to be pulling those out. So I'm going to pull the ones in the middle first. So three, two, one. Okay, so this is Betty Boop. And she is wearing an angel outfit. So I'm going to have to look up prices <laughs> for myself, too. Um, awkward. I feel so awkward still. Eee! <laughs> I made a mistake. I regret my life choices. I didn't read the box. I was just excited that I got a box. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm going to pull out one more. This one's a little bit heavier. Three, two, one. Okay, so this is Yoda. This is the Christmas version that came out last year. I actually have them in my collection. And then for Betty Boop, I'm not really a big fan of her, but um, my boyfriend's mom is a fan of her. Yeah. But uh, we don't remember which one we got, but I'm pretty sure she. you don't have the angel one, right? That one we don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that definitely will be a good gift for her. <laughs> Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm using um, Pop Price Guide to figure out the pricing of each of these Funko Pops, and this one was seven dollars. 
So where we stand, I'm at $16 right now, and my boyfriend is at $14. I'm losing my $2. <laughs> okay, go. Next. Now that the awkward is over. All right, so here's the other one, and one, two, three. Oops, it's upside down. Upside down. <laughs> Okay, so this is another Star Wars Funko Pop, and we do not collect Star Wars. This is a First Order Snow Trooper. So, um, definitely if you see any pops that we're not necessarily interested in, definitely check out my Macaria account. It mostly has pops for sale on there, but now I'm starting to put other cutesy things that I've gotten in from... Claw Machines, um, aka Trevreba, if you've watched any of my other videos where I unbox prizes, as well as um, some like arts and crafts related stuff. I'm still posting more and more stuff, and if you're also interested in checking out my eBay account, their um, book will be linked down in the description below. So he is going for $7 right now? Yes, 7 So go add that to my boyfriend's total, and then moving back to... My Chalice Collectibles box yes. that I still feel embarrassed about. Oh gosh, so awkward. <laughs> so in three, two, one. Okay, so this is from Shazam. This is Freddy. So spoiler alert if you haven't watched the movie, which we both have watched now. Yeah. Um, I thought it was okay. He thought it was okay too. Um, but this is um, the brother of the one who is Shazam, the main character. Um, I forgot his name. Oh, Billy. Billy mm. is the main character. Freddy is um, his new foster home um, brother because he moves in with these other um, people that are here that are actually his um, other foster family members. So Mary, Darla, and Pedro. Yeah, got that. Spanish name down <laughs> and then oh and Eugene too forgot about him so yeah it was a, it was a good movie I think I'm gonna actually end up keeping him because he will match with my Shazam that I got that was glow in the dark so um let me just quickly look him up it's a fairly new pop so it's probably gonna be about maybe ten dollars I'm guessing nine dollars mine is nine dollars so moving back to his box Okay, so what's her next one? Ready? One, two, three. Wait, upside down again? You're getting a lot of <laughs> Star Wars. Now I feel like your box is a Star Wars box and they just tricked you. That's what I think. So this is a first order flame trooper. Trooper. Troop. Yeah, we're not we're not big Star Wars fans. I do like some of the droids. Um and like Yoda, of course, and then Jar Jar Binks is like, uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're, we're not big fans. So these are definitely going to be posted on the Makara account, but it's probably going to be a bundle pack yes. at this point. Or maybe for a future giveaway, but I would rather get rid of Fungal Pop, Pop starting now. So he is valued at $7. And then back to my box. Three, two, one. Okay, so this is um, Captain Marvel. This is a common version. I have not watched this movie yet, and my boyfriend hasn't either. It was between Shazam and Captain America, or not Captain America, Captain Marvel. Um, but we both ended up um, watching Shazam at our own times. So, yeah. Anyways, I heard that it was a good movie. And very empowering for us females for having a strong um, superhero female role. But yeah, I, I, I still have not. Still have not watched it. Oh man, now it's getting mixed up with all the Captain America stuff. Ugh. No, that's not it. And I have six pages to look through. This is going to be wonderful. Okay, eight. So she is at eight dollars. So... Now I'm going to be at my um, my ex Chase exclusive or vaulted at this point. And then his, I don't know. I guess we, we didn't pull it out in I any particular order. One exclusive on mine. Yeah. So let's see the other one. Ready? One, two, and three. 
So this is from Ghostbusters? Yeah, Ghostbusters. Who this is this? Aaron Gilbert. Gilbert. Is that from... Is this from the OG one? I think it might be. Yeah. I know there was a female version. I don't... That I, and I think that actually came out. I could be wrong. But yeah, I think this is the OG one. So she is going for $7 right now. So you're up to 35 You have one more pop left. For me, I have two. So then, oh, I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> I guess I'll go by weight. So yeah. three, two, one. <sighs> Jiren, dang. And I just got rid of this one. So yeah, this is a Dragon Ball Z pop. This is definitely going to go up for sale. Um, so when I first got him, he was valued at 70 but then there was a big surplus of them when we went to WonderCon 2019, or whatever, yeah, it's 2019, WonderCon, um, they actually were selling, um, Jiren, um, um, Sazuke, uh, Todoroki, the Glow in the Dark version as well for, like, about $30, so yeah, um, the price definitely fluctuated for... Um, this particular pop and a bunch of other ones that were valued at $70. So he is valued at $40 right now. So that brings up my total to $75 and my boyfriend's total to $35. So he is going to pull out his last one. And I think that might be his Vaulted or Exclusive one. So, so hopefully it's we'll something see. good. Ready? One, two, and three. Okay. <laughs> so this is the okay. Betty Boop and um pudgy exclusive version i don't know why i'm holding it here you can show it off so this is the black and white version that one was is actually pretty cool i don't mind this one <laughs> yeah I, I like the black and white um colored pops so she is valued at eight okay so that brings up his total to 43. and then i have my last pop cool Hoping it's something that fits our collection. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> so this is me. And I actually like him. So this is a Disney Treasures exclusive. So they had like these subscription boxes where it would come with a Funko Pop and other cool Funko Pop related items. So he is from Peter Pan. And he's really cute. I love his like little half um, moon glasses. So, um, he should be at 24 from what I remember. So yeah, he is at 24. So that brings up my total to, oops, I can't, I can't calculate correctly. Okay. So my total is $99 and then my boyfriend's total was $43 so <laughs> lost. I mean like he still got $40 back but um here are his two exclusives that I am looking for right now Oops, so we can back. compare e. oh. Betty Boop dang mm. anger is heavy so those are his two exclusives and these are mine so my box is $50 and his box is $40. Yeah. So yeah, definitely comment down below which box you think was better um, for collectors. Um, doesn't matter if it was value-wise or if it was um, good comments for those who are starting to collect. But um, I want to say that we did a decent job. Um, definitely a lot of these pops are going to go up on Makari for sale. So definitely check out that link down below. But yeah, make sure to... Um, be subscribed to my channel. Hopefully he'll appear more in my videos. Make sure that yeah. you like this video and also share it if you want to with your other friends who collect Funko Pops as well. Um, also put in your opinion about um, buying boxes off of Amazon. This is yes, our please. second time <laughs> buying a box from Amazon. Um, I think the first one wasn't too, it didn't go up too great either. But anyways, um, yeah. So, social media accounts, they're going to be linked in the description below. And by social media accounts, my social media accounts. <laughs> Yay, yeah. Subscribe, comment. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> last but not least, we hope you have a good day. Bye. Bye.